If you watched episode 1 of Rags to Riches, you'd know that at this point we're sitting at around 1 million dollars. If you haven't watched episode 1 to see how we got there, I would definitely recommend doing that first, because that's gonna let you do what we're gonna do today. And what we're gonna be doing today is getting 2.5 million dollars from doing heists. This is one of the easiest ways to make money if you're a beginner in GTA Online, but if the thought of heists kind of scare you because you're a solo player, don't worry about it. I've got a lot of tips that are going to make it so easy for you, and that's all coming up after the drop. Yes, so by the end of this episode, we're going to have around $2.5 million. And once we have those $2.5 million, we're going to be able to buy something that's going to help us get a lot, a lot more money after that. But that's coming in episode 3. But like I said, in this episode, we're going to be running through all of the beginner heists. Not only will you get, you know, a fair bit of money from the heists themselves, but you're also going to get a $100,000 bonus for the first time completion on each of the heists. And if you complete all of the heists in order, you're going to get a $1 million bonus on top of that. So, solo players, why did I say you don't really need to worry about this? Well, for the most part, I'm a solo player myself. I will have some friends helping me out here and there throughout this series. But most of the people I completed this heist with were from my Discord server. We've got, I think it's well over 5,000 members in there now, so if you just go in there and ask for people to help you out with this heist, you should be able to do that pretty easy. So I'm gonna leave a link in the pinned comment below, so definitely go join that. It's gonna make this process 10 times easier, man. And everyone over there is really helpful. If the thought of completing these heists is still a little bit too scary for you solo players, I would really just recommend running Headhunter and Sightseer missions back to back to back until you get around $2 million. Unfortunately, yeah, if you are solo, it's sort of just doing that continuous boring process over and over. So I would definitely, definitely recommend trying to do these heists if you can. So to start up these heists, you're going to need to go and watch a cutscene with Lester. You're going to want to go over to the big L that's on your map here. Make sure you go to this specific letter L on the map. There are a few other ones scattered around, but if you want to start the original heist, this is the one you need to go to. Oh, here we go. Lester's warehouse. Get in there, right? I'm going in first, baby. <laughs> I can't go in. I've already been here or something. Oh, okay. Good to see you again. Uh, been a while. <laughs> yeah, I I've never been good at small talk. I don't have many friends. Uh, I do sometimes meet people online, and then I arrange to meet them out in the real world, and then I go there, but I just, I hide, and I watch them, and I think, wow, now you are experiencing 1% of what I felt my entire childhood when I spoke to a girl. Wow. I've never told anyone that before. <laughs> Feels good to talk. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. Now, maybe, just maybe you are ready to do real work. I mean, are you interested? Because if you are, I have a few things uh, coming down the wire soonish. If you want, I'll contact you. But don't let me down on this. I'm putting my neck on the line, and I like my neck. It's my best feature. Aside from my sparkling conversation, Cool, so now you can do heists, but you're gonna need some stuff before you do that. In episode 1, we just sort of did treasure hunts. We didn't really need any weapons, any armor, anything. So go pick up some guns. You can copy the guns that I buy if you want. I ran through all of these heists just with these weapons. Super easy. So yeah, if you just want to copy these guns, be my guest. That's a pretty good option. Actually, when you're, level, when you're low level, you can't actually get that many guns. But... Yeah, you buy a weapon. Fuck, there's nothing. There's an Uzi, that's yeah, it. Yeah, no. Special carbines, alright. Um, I have 100k. I could buy the special carbine, yeah. We're gonna buy that. 
Yeah, I just bought that. Mix. Yeah, I'll get a next bag. Uh, I don't want to waste too much money on a gun because like they can get Presser? really expensive. I'm gonna buy a lot of ammo though. Actually, I'm gonna get a Marco SMG just because you can shoot them at cars. Oh, it's yeah, one, of, that. one of the only guns you can actually shoot while driving. It's pretty important. Yep. Send a clip. Uh, yeah. Next step, just wait for Lester to give you a call and then you can start up some heists. Again, if you didn't watch episode one, you're going to be able to start up heists from your heist planning board in your high-end apartment. So if you can't be bothered to go back and watch that video, I recommend picking up the Alta Street apartment because it's pretty cheap and it's in a good location. If you want to make as much money as quick as possible while you're waiting for his phone call, I would probably start up a headhunter or a sightseer mission just while you're waiting. So if you've forgotten how to do that, just make sure you have $50,000 in your bank account. Register as a CEO or a VIP in the interaction menu and start one up. Oh, here we go. All right, we might be ready to move on this thing. If you want to work, you'll get a knock on your door any minute. Now, I'm not going to show all of the setups for every single heist or else this is going to be like a, a six hour video. I am going to show at least highlights from all of the finales though. An important thing to note about any heist in the game really is if you're the leader, you're the one setting up the heist, you actually will need to pay a setup fee at the start of the heist. Also, during the setup missions, as the host, you're not going to earn any money from those setups. However, the other people in the heists are going to earn money from that. So essentially, they're earning money, you're earning nothing. So how do we even all of that out? Well, when it gets to the finale, the host should always have a bigger cut than the rest of the crew. If you want it to work out so basically everyone in the crew will end up with the same amount of money at the end of it all, for two player heists, you probably want to go with a 60-40 split like you can see here. But when you get to the four player heists, the most fair, I guess, is 40-20-20-20 split. So as the host, you're going to take 40% of the final profit. Again, I really want to stress you have to complete all of these heists in order. So as you can see here, we're completing the finale for the Fleeker job right now. After that, you're going to want to complete all of the setups and the finale for the Prison Break heist. After that, all the setups and the finale for the Humane Labs heist. Then after that, a Series A funding heist. And then finally, you'll finish it off with the Pacific Standard heist. Again, do them all in that order or you're not going to get the massive money bonus at the end. I don't want to see any comments from anyone saying that I didn't mention that because that is extremely important. So make sure you do that. It is done. All right, baby, let's go. Okay, now find the safety deposit box. Take the cameras out. All right, I'm drilling. Let's go, baby. Go, go, go. Smooth. Oh. Oh. Screw. Well, this guy's oh, going God. through him as well. Go through, Thanks, straight man. through the Check screen. Out, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, skis. Slow it down, baby. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. 
Dive under the cargo. Oh Ow. my god, what the hell? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Watch the pole, mate! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> show it to me. Ooh, yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, past. And if that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you. And in the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey, for the first time, that wasn't bad. But don't get clingy. Easy. Hundred and eighty-six K. Not bad for like what an hour. So that's the first heist done. If you took sixty percent, you get eighty-six thousand dollars. And if it's your first time, which it should be, you'll get the extra one hundred thousand dollars on top. After this, again, you've just gotta wait for Lester to call you and then you can start up the setups for the next heist. So again, while you're waiting for that phone call, if you want to make as much money as fast as possible, probably just start up a headhunter or a sightseer mission. This phone call should only take around 10 to 20 minutes. So yeah, smash out a headhunter, a sightseer mission, get, you know, a quick 20 to $40,000 and then start up the next heist. One thing I would highly, highly recommend doing if you want to make these heists like 10 times easier for you, man. Using the money you just got from that heist and from episode 1, I want you to go ahead and buy the Armored Karuma. You can find this in San Andreas Auto, and it is going to cost just over $500,000. So it is, you know, it's a fair bit of money for a beginner. But this is going to make your heist so much easier, dude. Like, you can just drive up to enemies and just mow them down because you are virtually invincible. Not 100% invincible, but yeah, NPCs will not be able to shoot you out of this thing very easily at all. So pick this vehicle up and use it for all of the setups that you can. And if you are worried about it from a money standpoint, don't worry. By the end of all of these heists, we're going to have more than enough money to move on to the next step. All right. Are we good with those rolls or? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't crash the plane. <laughs> <laughs> watch it. Watch it happen. The officer's driving. The transporter's in the back playing inmate. If the perimeter team do their job, you'll go in in place of the scheduled bus. No one will know the difference. This operation's burnt if you attract police attention. So keep your heads down. Got it? Okay, get to work. You're coming up on balling broke. Hold it together and the lady. I just dropped this coffee cup. That's littering, dude. Just one, huh? I thought the drug laws were keeping us full. Come on. Uh, you just want to cap them all. Okay, get to it. As long as they yeah, like as soon as you're in, just yeah, I'll just cap. Well, oh, he gets he he yeah. Let's get the guy on the left here. Do it. Oh, just both these guys here. I can't. There we go. What's stopping me from land hiding the side? To be able to do that. I'm not. Fuckers die! Jesus! Oh good, that just... cuts in. Good. I thought they were sending professionals. I collaborate and nearly get a ship for the pleasure. Just give me... Nice. There are some screws I hope we run into. Let's go! Let's go! Score. I need him out in one piece. Oh, no ammo. Gonna run and get some if you can kill the rest of them. Yeah, I'm pretty low, I'll try that. 
No, no, like, you don't have to rush it. I'll just, um... I'm just gonna go steal the... Nice. Jesus. Air support, baby. Don't shoot. Do I have to get this retard? <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh. <laughs> Rocket straight to the chest. Remember, a scratch on Rashkovsky is a scratch on our team. You need to coordinate and get Rashkovsky airborne ASAP. Come on, buddy. There he is. Where is he? Oh, he's going to. There he is. Oh, we're good. Go, go, go. Easy. No! Oh my god! <laughs> no, <laughs> the no, one is killing me! Wow! <laughs> How did that blow oh, it up? God. The one cop car blew it up. <laughs> That's a tilter. Oh. Okay. No! 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 Oh no, the cop car is coming! <laughs> Fuck. Should we take it out? Blow it up, yeah. Get it. Hey. Fuck, just. You go around it if you can. Yes. Yeah, no, no, we're good, we're good. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh no, this one's gonna do it. It's gonna, it's gonna. No, 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 no. No, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yep. Let's go, man. Oh, what's the heli? Oh my god. I'm good, I'm good. Woo! Alrighty. Almost done. Alright. Bad. Almost perfect. <laughs> oh my. Simple. One cop car wanted Simple. to ruin it for us. Wow, I got bronze after all that. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> That's actually a fun heist. Um... It's ridiculous. Yeah. Wait, what, what's, I don't see anything wrong with it. No, not me either. <laughs> Fuck, am I flying? Oh god. <laughs> Can't you fly? You said you were a good pilot, didn't you? <laughs> That's what you wanted, man. Nah, I got this. Door. I don't know. I don't know how to go up. Is it W? Yeah. <laughs> Can I swap since the proper gun? Or do I just have a mini gun? Let's go, boys. Bravo 6. Going dark. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to fucking maintain altitude. Ground team, time to switch to night vision. Yeah. That'll do. Hold up, security oh, Mitch. I can't aim at them. The Why not? Because I'm only in the minigun. I think I need to be in the other seat next to you. No, no, you can shoot there. I can't shoot low enough. Oh, oh, eight. No, shit. I just go to flatter ground, like at the end of the beach. One. Wait, are you ready? One, two, three. Kick the chair, kick the chair, I dare you. Yes! Transfer's complete. Go down the corner, get the elevator. Keep yeah, yeah, I'm almost in range. Yeah, got him. I can shoot, I can shoot, no, I can shoot down just fine. It's just the helicopters that you'll have to tilt me towards. I think it's in here. No, kidding. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, you're going to use the jump down.
see if I can pull this up here. You just feast on them. There's like soldiers in there. Let's see right? where they are. For the ground teams. Hello, do you see us? Do you see us? Yes, sir. Where? In the direction I'm shooting. Do I have to land? You see us? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Joe, come on. Come over here, man. Where are you? I don't see you. Right here, bro. Not Why the side, fuck man. are they trying to make it so fucking hard to land? Bro, stop running around, bro. Just. Stay somewhere so we can land away from you. Where are uh, you? I don't. Do you see us? Where are you? Make sure you don't pick it. the wrong guy. Do you see get us? In. I don't, I get in! 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 Dude, get do in! Do you see me? Get in! Let's get in! We gotta go! We gotta go! Fuck, man! I thought the hell it was gonna blow up. If the the thing was hitting the wall. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, they look badass when they walk aw walk away from things. Yeah, like I, I, I took the, I, I took the three, I took <laughs> four <laughs> screenshots. But How did you, didn't you get platinum, Joey? percent I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> Negotiator. Oh, what? <laughs> Mixing the technical. Someone getting the technical, yeah. Alright. Protect the middle van. I'm, I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, let me in front again. Whoa, jeez! Did you say cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna understand the context of the <laughs> Looks like seeing these guys spawn in front of us. <laughs> yeah, we win, Jeremy, don't you worry. <laughs> we will fuck it up. Don't so stop shooting the fucking van! I had so many subs ask, hey, can you do a criminal mastermind walkthrough? <laughs> 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 Not a uh, chance! Nope. <laughs> no, thank you! <laughs> have you seen us? Oh my god. We would have to play so conservative. Fuck. <laughs> Conservatively. <laughs> Don't drive into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I should go into the ocean. <laughs> Thank you for the oh, advice, dude. Flying. I was really thinking of driving into the ocean. I'll do it. Oh shit! <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh! Oh my oh, god, do you know god. how close that was? <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> oh my god! God damn. <laughs> I would have actually been mad. We <laughs> are Are we doing the next heist, or...? Not tonight. Quick restart. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Make sure you cable tie that fucking door, yeah? Easy Sweet. peasy. Gas masks on. Let's go. You just cut that with a gun on my screen. <laughs> Holding two guns. Oh my god, two guns? Yeah. Give me my RPG, god damn. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> The door closed, they shut the door, and the door closed. Alright, I just want to cut the audio out for a second, I didn't really explain this. Normally, you would expect two people to grab all the money from the vault, you see two cash trays there. A good little tip is actually just let the one player get both stacks of cash. The main reason for that is because whoever has cash on them, so if two of the four players had cash on them, every single time they got shot, the amount of money you're going to earn goes down because they're shooting the cash out of the bags. So in this case, I'm the only one with a cash bag, which means that everyone else can get shot and we're not going to lose money. We're only going to lose money if I get shot. So it makes it really easy because I don't even have to kill any enemies. I just stay safe and we're not going to lose as much money. So that's a cool little tip. I would recommend just letting one person get all the cash. Going down the Have we got people watching behind? Yeah, uh, I'm watching. Alright, now you're going across the road to the next alley. 
she low health. We're gonna just heal up. You got snacks, so. Yeah, I got a couple. Now, we got armor here as well, so. <laughs> and we don't lose the money. Good. Get the armor here, guys. It's up to you. Let's make the best of it. Okay. Do not hit me with the bike. <laughs> oh, okay, we're fine. Get your 2.5 mil. All in order, got me extra mil. There we go. So there you have it, we completed all of the heists, and as you saw, we got the all-in order challenge completed, which means we got an extra $1 million on top of everything else we did. So adding up all of the heists, you're going to be sitting at probably over $2.5 million after all of that. For the groups that I did the heists with, they didn't really take that long, but we weren't even trying to be fair, so if you went through this as quick as you can... I'd say you could probably smash out all of these heists in around 6 hours, so $2.5 million for 6 hours, that's just over $400,000 an hour, which for a beginner is actually really, really good. And that's going to set us up perfectly for the next step, and that's coming in episode 3. So if this video helped you out, a thumbs up is always appreciated, and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. Again, just like the first episode, any feedback you have, comment it below, man. This series is all about you. Let me know what you want to see, and uh, any comment I see, I'll, I'll consider whatever you suggest. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and most of all, dude, just stay safe, okay? Stay home and grind out some GTA, and I'll see you in the next video. Boys. Since I was in the seventh